you guys for having me. I've been here for a couple of days and uh, I've met some awesome, awesome, awesome people. And uh, I think my message is, is always simple. Whatever you want to go do, go do it. Nobody determines that but you. You see, when I, uh, how old are you? 14. 14, what's your name? Well, I got a son, 14. Nice job. But uh, when, I was your, when, when I was your guy's age, I figured something out. I figured something out. And, and I don't, and there, it's no secret what I figured out. But whatever majority of people was doing, I found myself doing the opposite of what they was doing. Because I wanted to chase something great. I wanted to do something for my mom. I wanted to get my mom away from certain things. I wanted to get my mom and my sisters and my brothers away from certain just situations and circumstances. But me growing up, I trusted them. A meal, to have a hot meal once a week was a blessing for me if I had one meal. My mom couldn't feed me every day. So I, I figured it out in my mind that the only thing that could pull me away from any of that thing was hard work. That's it. Because I think the easiest thing to do, now I know you guys come in here because y'all got beautiful coaches and y'all got great people who want to work with you. But the easiest thing to do is come in here and let coach say, do this, do that, do this, and shoot the ball this many times. Yeah. And it's the same thing I tell my kids. That's the easiest thing to do. You know what the hardest thing to do is? It's to do it when nobody ain't watching. What do you do when you go home? How much time do you spend with that basketball when you're by yourself? <laughs> it's all right, but I'm just telling you that. <clears throat> we have to, uh, and, 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 I, and I tell my kids this all the time, you have to figure out at a very young age what you want to do. And when you figure out what you want to do, go do it. But every day, you can't take no breaks. Since I was nine years old, I took one break and two breaks in my life. The breaks I took were some breaks that I had surgeries. That was the only breaks I've ever took. So for 27 years, I haven't took a break. I just came out the weight room this morning. I'm going back in the weight room again this evening. I work out over five times a day for one simple reason. I don't like where I once was. I didn't like where I once was. So I promised myself, I promised my mom, I promise my sisters, I promise my city that I won't be back there. So when I walk in this gym, when I walk in that little a ring over there and saw that ring, that's what I remember. That's where I grinded from. That's all I know. All I know is grind. And I'm looking at each one of y'all eyes right now, and it's grinding, each one of y'all. But now each one of y'all got to find out who's going to become the leader. Who gonna take that next step to tell somebody, man, let's shoot 500 times a day. If coach got us shooting 100 times a day, let me shoot 500. I tell my son, if you wanna play basketball, you want me to pay, pay for you to play basketball, you gotta shoot over 1,000 times a day. If you good in your right hand, and your right hand is the only thing you know how to use, put it behind your back, lock it with a belt, and use every time you come in the gym, dribble with your left hand. Make your left think like your right. That's it, basketball is what you're trying to do. And whatever you're trying to do, man, schoolwork, trust me, it's the number one thing when you talk about education. When you talk about life, when you talk about understanding where you really want to go, if you ain't bringing home straight A's and straight A's and B's, and nowadays you got to think, now y'all kids nowadays, y'all got to look a little better than what we had. Because we had to go in the real hard books. The real books to define the information. Now y'all got iPhones, y'all got iPads, y'all got everything. Y'all Google any answer and y'all get any answer y'all want to get. So grades, it should be no reason everybody in this room shouldn't hold each other accountable to have straight A's or A's and B's. I tell my children, you can get anything you want from me if you bring me home straight A's and B's. Because that means you dialed in. That means you made up your mind to do something. But then we got to, there's a balance there, because we're three-part beings, mind, body, spirit. We're three-part beings, mind, 
body, spirit. Take this with you the rest of your life. Don't wake up without prayer. Don't wake up without thanking God that I'm up this morning. Because I promise you, none of us have control over that. Your mama didn't wake you up this morning. Your daddy didn't wake you up this morning. It's only one person that woke us all up this morning. And I ain't talking about religion. I'm talking about a different power. So once you understand what your prayer life should be, then you got to understand what your physical life should be. I don't get out of bed in the morning without grinding. That's what I'm asking each one of y'all right now. What's the difference in you and the man sitting beside you? Because in my business, 1% makes it. That's it. So out of every child sitting there right now, if everybody had the same dream, one will make it from this whole crowd. Who will be that one? What's the difference of your mindset and everybody else's mindset that's sitting there? It's got to be different. It's got to be different. You got to be hungry for it. When you come in this gym, you got to put everything you got on the court. Everything, every second. And when, when, when your coach tell you that this, you'll be the first one in line. What you want me to do, coach? If I don't know how to do it, I can figure out how to do it. That's what leaders are going at. Because anybody can come shoot in these gyms that these people have worked countless hours to build these communities for y'all and build up these buildings for you. How much you really gonna use it? I walked out that door right there and I saw a good friend of mine over there. When you talk about Michael Jordan, have y'all ever really read his story? How many people has really read Michael Jordan's story? Raise your hand. Do yourself a better friend. Every person here, take your time out this week and read Michael Jordan's story. And tell me yourself, if that man over there, who is considered the greatest of all time, saw what he had to go through first. He came in the gym just like this, and this coach cut him from a basketball team twice. Twice, sent them home. He went in the backyard of his house and he mastered the game of basketball. I don't want to tell y'all how many shots he shot. I want you to go read it yourself. Y'all see these iPhones, I see Google it. Pull it up and read it and see what made him the greatest. Now, if I share my story with you, I can only tell you, I told you before, I don't take breaks. I don't know what a break feel like. Cause now I got kids coming up after me. And I told my I told my my, my oldest son, the day that you think you can beat me in anything, show me. The day you can outrun me, show me. The day you can outlift me, outwork me, outshoot me, whatever you think you can do, show me. And when you get to that point where you can beat that, then go on to the next level. But the real challenge is who's the next Michael Jordan sitting in this room? Who's the next Ray Lewis? Who's the next whoever you want to be? Because that's ultimately who you, out, you turn out to be. You don't turn out to be the next Michael Jordan or the next Ray Lewis. You turn out to be the next you. But it's called dialing in. Three part beings, mind, body, spirit. Today is a new day. I'm only here for one reason. I came over here to speak to the London Warriors and I bumped into some incredible young men that has the same path that I have. Broken homes, I come from a broken home. You understand? I come from domestic violence. I come from a man putting his hands on my mom. I come from that. That's, I didn't start lifting weights because of sports. I started lifting weights because I got tired of a man putting his hands on my mother. So I stepped up as the man in the house. Started doing push-ups and sit-ups every night of my life. I took a deck of cards and I flipped it. Nine, five, eight, jack, queen, and king, I do 10. Ace, I do 25. Jokers, I do 50. And I did that for about three, four, five years until I built my body up. And all I would do is wear big shirts until I built my body up. 
to one day when he hit my mom, I was strong enough to help her out. So sports was a scapegoat for me. It was a way out because it taught me complete discipline. It taught me how to really dial in. I didn't have that. Daddy wasn't there for me. So I had to ground myself. That's what I'm asking every young kid sitting in this room right now. What makes you grind every day? What really makes you grind every day? When you wake up in the morning, are you really pissed off? I am. I stay pissed off. Because I'm always chasing something else. I ain't done and nothing. I ain't done nothing yet. Because whatever New Year's coming up in 30 plus days when we get back there, that's a whole new year for me. I've been in the NFL for 17 years. I've been doing what I've been doing for 27 years, but I've been in the National Football League for 17 years. Grinding. And every year for me is a new year. So year one through 16, I will close that chapter. It's over. Year 17, I done heard everything. I done heard I done lost a step. I done heard I done got over it. I done heard it all. But I, I guarantee you, person that I'm competing against on Monday night, they won't say that. Because I work too hard. And every man sitting in this room got the same thing I got. It's just what you do with it every day. It's what you, when you wake up in the morning, do you pray with that man upstairs? Do you actually look up and say, thank you? Do we even recognize what sunsets and sunrises and, and, and the, ah, we gotta start being kids again. To where you don't get tired. You don't know what being tired is. That's what, that, that, that's, that, that's what I got inside of me. That's why I can never get tired. Cause I got something burning inside of me. Kid, all over again. I can't get tired. We can't take breaks. We gotta, we gotta help mama out. Somebody here gotta help mama out. Somebody gotta help daddy out. Somebody. And if you got to do it, then that means you got to put all the games away for me. And you got to put in your work first. You got to dribble that ball 500 times with whatever hand you weak at. You got to go to the basket with the opposite hand. Whatever hand you strong at, go to the hand with go go, go to the basket with the opposite hand 500 times a day without the coaches. That's the key. That's the key because they here for you regardless. But I'm asking you to be here for yourself. So man, thank you guys for letting me come in here and uh, and mess up y'all workout. I ain't gonna mess up y'all workout. Cause I'm a mean person when somebody mess up my workout. Cause I gotta start all over again. But uh, thank you and, and, and like I said, the people that I've met and the things that they are willing to sacrifice for you guys, you won't find a lot of people in this world that's willing to sacrifice that. You just won't. Outside of these doors, it's a real world out there. Stay away from, stay away from that crazy mess. All right, stay away from all of that. Somebody trying to get you to do the wrong thing, run. All right, it's better to run than stay there and find yourself in something that you ain't ready to deal with. But it's time, to, it's time to help mama. It's time to help daddy, and ultimately. It's time to help yourself to make sure you don't waste time. Don't waste time. No matter what you do, don't waste time. So thank you guys. Man.